how this Roblox One Piece game died in 24 hours. And I'm not even trying to be disrespectful, but I can't think of another game that's died in that little of time. So how did this... You know, you know dick suck, bro? Shinobi Battleground? But then that shit get like shut down the damn near the, 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 within like 10 hours or some shit. No, no dick stuff. I'm just, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. Game go from being called the Rail Seas Killer to not even having 500 players in Yo. about 24 hours. So today we're going to be discussing the downfall of Pirate's Destiny and if it really deserved to die. First, I want to talk about the release of Pirate's Destiny and why it released at such a bad time. A lot of people believe that just be- Why would you release- Bro, they can honestly bring the game back. Why would you release a game- on a fucking Monday, was it released yesterday? A Monday night? Or a Monday app? What? A, why release that game on Monday? Or was it released on Sunday? What was it released? When was it released? It was Saturday. Damn! Oh my fuck! I go, I don't come back that. You released on Saturday? Ain't no way! Because the platform is dry right now, you can release Ain't almost no anything way. and succeed. And if I'm being completely honest here, that's pretty much true. But even with that being said, this game still chose a really bad time to release. And I would honestly go as far to say as for a One Piece game specifically, this is probably one of the worst times to release. And the main reason is because there's been so many other One Piece games right now. For example- Bro, I'm glad that's, that's somewhat true, but regardless, if your game stands out and it has the hype for people to jump on it, that's not going to be the reason it dies because other people are jumping back to the old One Piece game. There's a bunch of One Piece games out, but there's not a One Piece game that is like so dominant that it has a big percentage of the player base. Besides, obviously, Brock's Fruits. Brock's Fruits. I don't know if this game is good or not. I haven't tested it, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, my nigga, if your game is good or like decently engaging, bro, you could easily... You know what I'm saying? You could easily create your own fan base, bro. There's new players every day. There's people that still don't even know fucking Blocks Fruits exist. You know what I'm saying? So you could easily attract new players from all, all sorts, bro. That's that's not the reason. Well, if you look at my channel, I pretty much cover every new Roblox anime game. And if you look at it, it looks like I only cover One Piece games right now because that's all that's been releasing. A few weeks ago, we got a new game called One Piece New Dreams. And that was a big disappointment to a lot of people. And then shortly after that, we got another One Piece game called Haze Piece. And although a lot of people don't like that game, it still had a lot of success. But a third One Piece game releasing just after these two actually really hurts it like a lot more significantly significantly than you probably even think because think about your average robot. one piece new dream i don't think here bro here, here's the thing about one piece new dream it didn't get the actual i feel like one piece new dream didn't get the actual like one piece fan base if that makes sense it got more of the like hardcore because like more of a hardcore type of game so if you were on that don't like that or knew about it you knew about it because it was like a like a more of a hardcore like bro lineage type of game compared to like haze piece that's more catered towards the npcs in the community that you that that you can use to say like could have you know fucked over the release of this what's this game called destiny destiny pirate stream whatever the fuck it's called roblox player or even you yourself you see two roblox one piece games releasing you might try both of them out and they either disappoint you or one of them you really actually end up liking so let's say you didn't end up enjoying haze piece or one piece new dreams then you see a third you're a lot less likely to even try it out because you're Wait, tired piece, of these new one piece, one piece games that just look pretty <laughs> Excuse me. One Piece New Dream was CC before it released? So they try to pull a type. Damn. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Just send that whole back in CC, bro. Nigga try to pull a type so release the CC and that shit. Damn. Ouch. Or let's say you tried out one of them and you actually Damn. ended up enjoying it. If you actually enjoy one of the games, it hasn't been enough time for you to stop playing that one specific game. So either scenario, you're probably not going to want to play this new game. And I think that's most likely why so little people even tried out Pirate's Destiny. But that explains why a lot of people didn't try out the game in the first place. Not why the people that did try out the game left the game so fast. I'm not going to lie, probably the biggest reason so many people left are the bugs in this game were absolutely ridiculous. Like, I... I, I I just don't get that. Another thing, that's probably the my most annoying thing, annoying like thing that pissed me off about games that release. Why do we do, like, why don't we test? Why are we not testing? This should be bro. If if it's so many like bugs that are happening constantly, and you have these quote unquote testers, what the fuck are these niggas doing? What is it they in that damn testing service doing, bro? Like what? There should be bugs will happen, yes, but there should not be game break breaking bugs on release no i get also there's a thing where like when there's a lot of players that are like like burst 
bursting to join the game that could also cause the game to break. That's understandable, but like something like I don't know, like maybe like a, a NPC like bugging out or one shot, it just just like you know obvious shit that testers should see. That should not be happening on release, bro. That should not be happening on release. That is, bro. At this point, it's no excuse. You should be testing the game heavily, heavily. You are, like these things should be scripted, put a shit in, and say, "Let's go, test the fucking game." Oh! I played the game a few days before release, and I said, "I don't know how many of these bugs they can fix in a few days because it was really bad." But I'm not gonna lie; it looked like they didn't even touch any of them. Like it was the same exact game I played a few days ago. They had the same bug where a lot of the bosses get bugged and you can't hit them anymore. There's still this really bad how bug do you, that I didn't. How do you didn't... not see that, bro? How do you not see that? How do you not see that? This is why stress testing is important. You don't have even have to do a public stress test. And in fact, in fact, if you really want to com combat the burst of people like joining. I say get like a fuck ton of testers, bro. Get a fuck ton of testers. Have them niggas like join, spam rejoin. Just, bro, there's, there's a bunch of ways to go about it, bro. There's a, but they, they don't try nothing, bro. An NPC not being able to take. <coughs> oh my fucking god. <coughs> I mean, this bitch die, yo. Fuck. An NPC and that bitch not being able to take damage is crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. Even put in my video because I was like, oh, it's probably something with the servers right now because Them there is no coming way back this up. is Yo, Moa, shut the f bro. Oh God, you about to get a fucking a, a stream ban for today, bro. Don't piss me off, Moa. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Gonna be in the actual game. And that was this bug where you would just get TP'd randomly to where you were like five minutes ago or under an island and things like that. I'll put it on screen right now so y'all know what I'm talking about. It happened to Dizzle and he literally hopped off the game because of it. And I'm sure a lot of other people did as. Well. I'm gonna give this game a shot. What's this young called? Let's give it a shot before we watch the Rail C's video. Well, because it was happening like every five I like seconds. That you are. Another thing I mentioned at the time was the game was not optimized to be played with a lot of people, or at least I thought it wasn't at the time. I wasn't 100% sure at the time, but now Pirate that I've actually Destiny. played the game, oh, I'm 100%. Sure. It's time, chat. Let's see what the Pirate Destiny saying. 